This week on Social 3, we're talking about Pinterest, we're talking about Instagram, and we're going to talk about the massive Super Bowl in the USA and what that meant for marketers. Hi, Andrew McCauley with this week's edition of Social 3. First off, Instagram has just announced that it now has a web application that you can start to view your Instagram photos in real time. Previously, you could go to the Instagram website and you really couldn't see a real-time vision of what was going on. But they have changed all that by introducing their new real-time website. Now, you can't upload uh, photos to Instagram at the moment. You can't add filters to any of your photos either. But what you can do, you can comment, you can tag, and you can view these photos in real time. It's a little bit, it's a little bit of a closer step to their mobile application and who knows, hopefully soon you can start to upload photos and use their filtering section. Pinterest has also updated their iOS app as well. So now you can start to edit comments, you can edit locations and descriptions. Previously you could not do that from the iPhone app, but you certainly can now. So that's a great thing for Pinterest users. If you're really keen on using Pinterest and using your mobile phone to add your images, you can start editing all of this stuff now. The big news of the week was the Super Bowl in the USA. It was a monstrous event. There was a whole bunch of stuff going on. In fact, on Twitter, it was three times more busier this year than it was last year, which is just crazy. Let me tell you a couple of other stats. 88% of the tweets coming in for the Super Bowl on Twitter were via a mobile phone, which is just crazy, 88%. If you're not thinking about using mobile for your business, you really should start thinking about that. There were 24 million tweets about the game and the halftime entertainment alone. That's not including the blackout that happened. But once the blackout happened, it went crazy. Twitter was on fire. Now, with the blackout, there was a number of clever marketing strategies or a number of companies that really jumped on that blackout bandwagon. And if you want to check that out, I'd go and see places like Mashable, which have a whole range of the clever marketers that were able to capitalize on a current piece of information. Have a think about that for your business. How can you capitalize on something that happens and use it to your advantage? It's really well worth looking at what sort of ad advertisements these people were throwing out just hours after the blackout. The other thing is that because it was such a big event, I was tweeting, I was watching the game myself and I was tweeting about certain things and I found that a lot of my tweets were getting retweeted. Now how can you start to use that in your business? Have a think about the big events that are out there. Where are the people looking at? Things like the Olympics, things like the Grammys or the Oscars. You know, whether it's a big event in your industry or a big event in your country, have a look at where can you capitalize on the traffic and the eyeballs that are coming for that particular event. Even though that my business, social media, is not actually got anything to do with football, I was able to attract attention to people that I'd never had uh, been able to connect with before. So have a think about that, how you can use that for your marketing. Finally, this week marks a big birthday for a particular social media platform, Facebook. Happy birthday, Facebook. You are nine years old this week. Nine years old. Wow. So much achieved in so, such a little time. So happy birthday, Facebook. This is Social 3. I'm Andrew McCauley. Looking forward to seeing you next week.